Why do we value meat? Eating meat is an important part of humanity's heritage, identity, and culture. For many communities across the world, it is a staple that is consumed every day. In modern times, eating meat is considered such a normal thing, nobody stops to ask how it affects our world. For this project, I took on the challenge of going a whole week eating only vegetarian, and my roommates joined in on this too. Unfortunately, I was the only one who completed it. To my surprise, it was surprisingly easy to go a whole week without eating meat, especially when the smell of it being cooked doesn't constantly live in your house. During a usual week, I eat meat three to four of those days. I decided to substitute those meals with beans and rice or a pasta dish mixed with vegetables. Not only am I eating a healthy diet, but I'm also helping combat climate change. Greenpeace and many other organizations push Meatless Mondays, which involve not eating meat for one day a week. Doing this would drop the world's carbon pollution and have the same impact as taking 240 million cars off the road each year if every person in the world did this. Shifting to a more plant-based diet helps combat pollution and climate change in many ways because soil, air, and water pollution are all huge consequences of this world's diet. To put it in perspective, livestock generates as much greenhouse gas as all the emissions from cars, trucks, and other automobiles combined per year. Not only are CO2 emissions a large problem, but we are also seeing effects on our waterways. Dead zones in water cause animal populations that live there to be decimated. Runoff from farms carries phosphorus, nitrogen, and other minerals into these waterways that cause algae blooms. The algae consume oxygen and we are left with areas that fish literally cannot breathe in and they soon die. Chemicals that are in farm runoff can also affect the reproductive success of amphibians. A study done on frogs and salamanders by researchers in British Columbia found that when these frogs and salamanders were located at water sources with farm runoff, they had a far lower reproduction success rate. So what can you do to solve this issue? The easiest way is to do small things like making small adjustments to your diet or researching what type of groceries you buy and where they're from.